Welcome back to the channel. Today we are talking about the Vivo Biomes version 2. Let's get into it. For anyone that doesn't know what Vivo Biome is, it is essentially the future of footwear, scan to print, where there's no waste, everything is built to order and to be ultimately fully recycled. However, we're not quite there yet, so we are currently in the testing phases and this is a Vivo Biome pair of trainers and this is a version two. If you wanna see my impressions of the version one, I'll put that in a card in this video. But for everyone that's already seen that, let's talk about how they compare. So the first thing you'll notice is we got a brand new color, I believe they call this sodium, compared to the version ones, which were a lava, which is a bright red, extremely fluorescent, visible from probably space, to be honest with you, but they're cool. This, different color, but not only that, there has been some improvements in three distinct ways. Based on the feedback of people like myself and other pioneers in the Pioneer program, they've changed fit, performance and feel when it comes to these trainers. What does that actually mean? So first of all, with the fit, the process was with the version ones is we filled out a form, gave all our feedback and essentially just said exactly how it felt. I myself, with the version ones, the fit was actually really close to what I would like them to feel like. So when it came to the feedback on the version twos, there wasn't too much to change really. The only real bit was just the sort of space around this kind of toe area. When I spread my feet out, I, my toes were touching the ends. I'll be honest with you, when I compare the two, I'm not even sure I can tell that much of a difference. There is definitely a difference when I'm wearing them, but the actual physical change, you'd be hard pressed to actually see it. The interesting thing though is they've clearly redesigned the sole. So on the first one, the tread was thicker. They've actually reduced the amount of tread on the sole, which interestingly means that there's actually more surface area. So on this pattern, so I don't know if you can quite see it on here, I'll try and get a close up, but on version one, it's got slightly deeper tread or they go to a more, more sharper point, I guess, on the tread. Whereas this one, it's slightly smoother, which means that there's a larger surface area. So on the, on the version one, there was about a 42% surface area or contact surface area on the sole, whereas this is now about 52%. And what that also equates to is more grip in general, but it apparently also displaces more water on a wet surface. And I can definitely vouch for that because I know with the V1s, other people were also giving this feedback, but underfoot, and I, I thought it was potentially because of like the hard material initially, but definitely underfoot, you could feel like maybe you might be losing a bit of grip or you could be a little bit unstable when <laughs> you, you're, you're duking around, you're doing some lunges or any, anything, any quick movements like that, you might have felt like you were gonna just slip a little bit. Whereas in these, it's definitely not the case. You, you can certainly notice the difference and there is actually definitely more grip on the bottom. Also, in regards to the sole, what they've done is actually reduced the overall thickness. So like I said before on the V1s, they actually felt quite firm almost because they're kind of made of kind of like a plastic material the thicker they are, the stiffer it is. Whereas these are incredibly flexible. And as soon as you put these on, I instantly notice the difference. And I think when I was talking about the extra toe space as well, it's almost like the extra flexibility also accounts for that as well. Whereas the V1 was more rigid in its sole. This has just more flex overall, which again, more flexibility, more, elasticity in the sock and things like that, give it more of an overall flexible feel on the foot. And the base as well has gone down from about two mil to 1.75 mil. So relatively significant reduction in thickness, which again leads to that additional flexibility and makes them even lighter on the foot as well. So you can see that the sole has been redesigned. It's been printed differently. Uh, it's a different surface area that's connected to the ground. The second thing you'll notice when you're looking at these, of course, is there's actually been a redesign to the sock. This has also been drastically improved as well. The V1s, I believe the process, again, they share some internal stuff that I'm not sure if I can actually show you guys. It'd be great to just show you because they're just simple examples, but essentially it's a cutout of the sock that's used on a Primus Light Knit, then the sock from the V1, and then sock from the V1, and then you've got the sock from the V2, with V1, apparently with the manufacturing process, it wasn't possible to onshore it. 
very energy hungry in the manufacturing process. Of course, we're trying to reduce all of that impact. So with this new redesign, in theory, there's less tool manufacturing, there's less or no cutting waste because it's a single sock, single unit sewed together and has got a higher potential for onshoring. So keeping everything as close to home as possible just reduces our carbon footprint, emissions, impact on the environment overall. But apart from the actual manufacturing aspect of it, the bits around the ankles have got that almost Yeezy-like look to them now, but it's a thicker bit on the back here. So when you're pulling these on, you've definitely got a bit more, it, it's really hard to explain on camera as well, but it feels like, so this little rim that you can see around the top is like a soft loop, but within it, which you can also, oh, I'll just notice that it says biome on there. Uh, within this bit, it feels like it's got a meatier bit of knit in there as well. So like I say, when you're pulling these on, there's definitely a nice, easier way of getting your feet in there. And then you can also see that they've moved and I think they've slightly reinforced where the laces go through the different in knitted, knitted in eyelets within the sock as well, because for myself, I didn't have this issue, but I can see if you're tightening and loosening the laces a lot, there's a lot of tugging, a lot of pulling. At the end of the day, it's just a sock <laughs> with a lace put through it. So it's potentially not gonna withstand, it's not gonna withstand too much tugging and pulling over time. Some people had that issue, it sort of ripped. I think it was down here on one of them. But yeah, so they've redesigned that, they've reinforced it. Again, they're taking on all our feedback. There's loads of guys, there's, there's up to about 200 people taking part in this. Everyone's getting their pairs of these. They're giving feedback, they're putting them through their paces and Vivo are iterating on these fast. Another issue that was discovered, not one from me, but from others is some people where this eyelet here presses on the inside of your bone, inside of your bone, doesn't make any sense, inside of your ankle on a bone where it was really pressing a lot. I know it was the same on the V1 actually. It tends to soften up. So this sole, even though it is more flexible and it really is, it's, it still oddly has that like squashing effect on these wings on the side, but that totally loosens up and the fit overall for me has again been pretty stellar to be honest with you. And the other thing as well, which I'm really pleased about because on the previous ones, on the right foot, this bit here that curves up, if you can see it, it swoops over the top of your foot. On the previous one, it was quite stiff and pressed into the top of my foot. This time around, their print seems to have been more consistent between the two shoes. They're pretty consistent and it just doesn't jab into the top of my foot anymore because it's softer as well. So even if it was, it's more flexible and isn't pressing down as much. So overall, the fit on the V2 is pretty great as well, to be honest with you. So there is my initial impressions. To be honest with you, I've been wearing these as much as physically possible. They truly are the most comfortable pair of, sh of trainers that I own. Dare I say it, they're more comfortable than the Primus Light knits, more comfortable than these, just because they've got that added width that is more focused on my foot shape. So these, while great, I don't know if you can tell, so you can tell though that the Primus Light knit is just, try and focus on here. So you can tell that the knit is just a little bit narrower. Still a great shoe though. So if you've not got yourself a pair of these, definitely get a pair, links in descriptions. But if you wanna stay up to date with the latest that is happening with all things Vivo Biome, if you wanna check out what Vivo Biome even is, there will be links in the description just to take you over to their website so you can just see a bit more about that. If you wanna stay up to date with everything that is happening with my trial of these pairs make sure you hit subscribe because i will be getting a version three at some point in the near future which i'm super excited about seeing what might change in the next models it honestly is for me personally anyway i'm thoroughly enjoying having the insights into what not just a manufacturing process but an innovation process seeing the iterations seeing the changes seeing the feedback that everyone else is having so Subscribe so you don't miss my updates. Check out other people that are testing these out. And one final thing before we go, don't forget, if you've not bought a pair of Vivo Barefoot shoes before and you're interested, there will be a referral code in the description for 15% off your first order. And for everyone else, there should be a Pioneer 10 code that should give you 10% off any pair in the shop. So on that note, I'll see you all in the next one.